The Murdoch murder trial is taking a dramatic turn. Breaking just tonight, Alec Murdoch will take the stand himself tomorrow in his own defense. At least that's the plan as of tonight, we're told. Plus, a new Netflix doc just dropped, and it is jaw dropping. Paul Murdoch's ex girlfriend claims Paul violently strangled and punched her. All right, let's bring in the host of Cup of Justice podcast, Eric Bland, and high-profile trial attorney, uh, Mark Garagos, to help us break all this down. Mark, I want to start with you. Um, it's been rumored for about a week now, and now apparently uh, confirmation uh, that, um, that Murdoch will take, take the stand tomorrow. What do you think? You think this is a good idea, Mark? Well, I'm, I'm not so sure. You know, I've been done enough murder trials to tell you that what you think when you go to bed uh, and what you get when you wake up in the morning are two different things. Remember, this is one of the few areas in the criminal law where the lawyer does not make the final decision. This is an absolute right of the client. And here you've got a sophisticated client who is a lawyer, who has tried cases in this jurisdiction, and has been sitting in that courtroom every day looking at that jury. So he knows what he's up against, and he's going to make the final decision no matter what his lawyers tell him to do. And he's got a couple of fine lawyers. So I would wait. Uh, if you asked me, is there, should he take the stand? If he were my client, I'd probably tell him yes. And I know that that is uh, counterintuitive given all of the financial crime allegations. But remember, he's facing under South Carolina law, a boatload of time, if not life, for the financial crimes. Now, what would he or, and the evidence, apparently, if you believe everything that's being reported and what's been in this case so far, that's a pretty compelling argument. Now, that is, so if he's facing life on those counts, what has he got to lose? What is the downside so that he's not convicted of these murders? And I, you know, I think the evidence so far has been anything but compelling beyond a reasonable doubt on the murders. Yeah, you make two really good points. I mean, if he's going to spend the rest of his life in jail, no matter what, because of those financial crimes and the list of those seems like it gets longer and longer, what does he have to lose? And also, I was just thinking that uh, right before we came into this segment that I've covered trials and <clears> things <throat> change at the last minute. I mean, he could wait up and say, no, I don't want to do it. So we'll have to wait and see tomorrow. Um, okay. Also very, very interesting today. This was quite explosive. New accusations uh, from Paul's ex-girlfriend, Morgan, uh, who says Paul, the victim, Paul, Alex's son, uh, strangled her and hit her. This came out um, as part of a new Netflix documentary. I, I want to watch a clip uh, and then I'm going to ask you about it, Eric. We were staying at a hotel he had been so intoxicated. We had finally gotten to bed, and for some reason, Paul kept, like, kicking me. I yelled at him, and then he got on top of me, and I just remember him screaming, I told you to shut up, just holding down my throat. I just remember then he, like, punched me really hard, like, in the knee right here. And, um, I am sorry. Yeah, it's, it's um, sad to, to hear that story and see her emotional and, and kind of knowing how all of this played out. It's also interesting, the timing that, th that this documentary has now come out during the trial. You have to wonder if that was sort of planned like a marketing reason. But how does this connect back to the trial, though, Eric? I mean, obviously, this is a Netflix documentary. The jurors aren't seeing this, or at least hopefully they're not seeing this because they're not supposed to be watching anything associated with the trial. But could this somehow influence things in court? No, I don't think so. And I think it was planned to be released because it's on the anniversary of the boating accident itself um, tomorrow. So um, it Mark Tinsley certainly has an interest in it in the Mallory Beach case, but I don't think it has any real relevance in this case um, because what Alex did it, uh, at the kennels or allegedly did at the kennels I don't think whether Paul beat his girlfriend in 2017, which is horrific, and I feel horrible for this girl. Um, and maybe she will come and testify in rebuttal about the dysfunction of the family and that there may have been violence in the family where she can add anything to that Paul didn't get along with his father. But the fact that he beat her up, um, it's unseemly, it's disgraceful. 
but I don't see it having relevance to what happened at the kennels on June 7th. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.